Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Now we've learned some mighty math skills when it comes to multiplying decimals. Today, it's time to focus on division. So let's put our skills into practice and solve some real life problems. Oh, looks like the park next door is getting some work done. An average of 2.7 acres is going to be divided into three playgrounds. <laughs> That's cool. And there's going to be some new structures and maybe even a climbing wall. Awesome. We need to help the workers decide how big each playground will be. Well, that's no problem. Let's look at this model first. Here we have two holes and seven tenths. And since we cannot divide the two holes into three groups, we're going to need to break up the holes. There we go. Perfect. Now, each hole is divided into tenths. And we have 27 tenths in total. When we divide, we create groups. Now with this problem, we want to see how many tenths are in each group when there are three groups total. We can take the tenths and put them into three equal groups. So here we go. Oh, look at that. Each group has nine tenths in it. And that means each playground will be nine tenths of an acre. I think that's enough room for some climbing structures. But let me ask you something else. Can you see a different way to solve this problem? When you saw 2.7, did you think of the number 27? We know that 27 divided by 3 is 9, right? So the key thing here is to match the decimal points as you're working. In our problem, for 27 to be 2.7, we need to move the decimal point over one place to the left. And since we moved the decimal in 27, well, then we need to move the decimal in the answer as well. Move the decimal over one place to the left, and now 9 becomes 9 tenths. Ooh, what a neat relationship of decimals we've just discovered. Way to go! I'm feeling quite helpful today. What do you say we help the local butcher sort out his meat deliveries? Ooh, it looks like our favorite butcher has seven pounds of meat that need to be divided into one and four tenths pound packages. So how many packages will he have in total? All right, time for some more mighty division. We have seven holes that need to be divided into groups of one and four tenths. Uh-oh, we have a decimal in the divisor here. Uh, let's use a number line to help us. Now our number line extends from 0 to 7 and we will split the distance between every two whole numbers into 10 parts. So each part will represent 1 tenth. And we're going to start at 0 and go over 1 and 4 tenths creating a group. All right there. Now this is the size of one package. And now we can move over another 1 and 4 tenths. Perfect. Two packages. Then we keep going until we get to our dividend, 7. Hey, look at that. We have five groups. So we can make five packages out of the seven pounds of meat. Mmm. All this talk about meat makes me hungry. What do you say we head over to Chen's house for lunch? He's always got the best lunch. Chen is having friends over. And we're invited. All right, if there are five and a half sandwiches, and we know that each person gets a half of a sandwich, how many people are there at Chen's? Now others are wondering and we're very hungry, so let's make a model and try to solve this faster so we can eat those sandwiches. Alright, here are the five and a half sandwiches. If each person gets a half of a sandwich, then we'll need to show how many groups of one half there are in five and a half. And each of the whole sandwiches has two halves. That gives us 10 halves, and now we can add the extra half to get 11. And that means that there are 11 sandwiches available, so 11 people can eat. Ooh, can't wait to eat my sandwich, it looks so yummy. And what would lunch be if you didn't get some dessert afterward? Look at this, it's s'mores time. And Eric has bought a package of marshmallows. The package has 12 marshmallows and has a total weight of 6 tenths of a pound. So how much does each marshmallow weigh? Oh, this looks like another division problem. But this time, we have the total weight of 6 tenths of a pound that we need to divide into 12 groups since there are 12 marshmallows. Let's represent this using an array model. 
In this 10 by 10 array, the rows and columns intersect, creating 100 small squares. Each square represents 100th of the array, and each row has 10 squares. So a row is 1 tenth of the array. And our dividend, 60 hundredths, equals 6 rows. And so we're going to shade in 6 rows in the array. And our divisor, 12, means that we need to split 60 hundredths into 12 equal groups. Well, when we take 60 hundredths and we divide into 12 groups, we get 5 hundredths in each group. All right, so now we know the answer. Each marshmallow weighs 5 hundredths of a pound. Now, just out of curiosity, did you happen to see another way you could solve that problem? Well, you may have connected 6 tenths with the number 60, like in the first problem. And since 60 divided by 12 is 5, well, we can connect that to 60 hundredths or 6 tenths divided by 12. Just make sure that the decimal is in the correct place. Since the decimal moved two places to the left to make 60 into 6 tenths, it has to move to the left two places in the answer. This turns 5 into 5 hundredths. Fantastic work! You mastered dividing decimals using different models, like number lines and arrays. And now it's time to enjoy some hard-earned s'mores. See you next time for S'more Mighty Math!